I thought, well, the strip can't be all that far away, so we'll make it. When I saw the strip, I was at 300 feet. So I, I look to this day, I'll admit I didn't even think. I just turned straight in, went straight in. I did probably the best landing I've ever done in my life. The only reason I knew I'd landed was I could hear the rumble of the wheels. But I'd floated and floated and floated. It was downhill. Downwind. <laughs> I was still I looked at the airspeed indicator, I was still doing ninety-five knots off the other end. <laughs> we went through one ditch. The second ditch stopped us dead. And the aircraft just went, woof, dropped one motor there, spun around and finished up facing almost back the way we were coming. We all got out of that. I had whiplash. My nav had a bit of concussion. He'd hit his head in the windscreen. One of the passengers had a crook back because the batteries had jumped out of the spar and hit him in the back when we crashed. But that was it. We got out of it. And that's why I say they were a good, solid aircraft. You could... You could land, you could get them down and they'd, they'd hang together. But that was my last flight. <laughs>